In this video, we'll be discussing about the cytokinin signaling pathway. It's a kind of two-component system pathway, where we have sensor histidine kinase transferring the signaling to the response regulator molecule. In this pathway, the ligand that initiates the signaling pathway is cytokinin, and the receptor for this ligand is CRE1, that's cytokinin response 1. And we also have receptor AHK, that's Arabidopsis his kinase in the form of AHK2 and AHK3. And these receptors, be it a CRE1 or AHK, have the chase domain. And it's the cytokinin that binds to this chase domain. Then we have the AHP molecule, that's Arabidopsis histidine phosphotransfer protein. And we also have ARR, that's Arabidopsis response regulator. Now let's get directly to the signaling pathway. Here in this diagram we have the cell membrane and on this we have the two monomers of CRE1 or AHK2 receptor. We can see the extracellular domain of receptor is the chase domain. And we also have the his kinase domain and receiver domain on the intercellular side of receptor. And within the cell we have the nucleus which has got DNA in it. And there are some response regulators like type B A R R. Now to dry the pathway, first of all cytokinin comes in and binds with the chase domain of receptor. This ligand binding induces the dimerization of CRE1 or AHK2 receptor, thereby activating the his kinase. The activated his kinase acts on ATP and gets the phosphate from it. And then this phosphate on his kinase is transferred to the aspartate residue on the receiver domain as shown in the diagram. Now we have got the fully activated cytokinin receptor. Now moving forward, we also have the inactive AHP protein within the cytoplasm. And this AHP protein is acted upon by phosphorylated active receiver domain of cytokinin receptor. And we can see the phosphate from the receiver domain of receptor is transported to the AHP protein. This phosphate is received by the conserved histidine present on the AHP protein. Now from here, the phosphorylation causes the AHP protein to move into the nucleus as shown in the diagram. And within the nucleus, the AHP transposes the phosphate to an aspartate residue located within the receiver domain of type BARR. So upon phosphorylation, type BARR gets active and starts regulating the DNA, while ultimately we get the transcription of type A ARR. And from this we get the mRNA. And from the mRNA, we get the type A ARR protein, which also has got receiver domain. And it also gets phosphorylated by AHP protein as shown in the diagram. And it is the ARR protein, which actually regulates the cytokinin response to genes. And one thing to remember here is that this type A ARR protein forms negative feedback loop with type B ARR, thus inhibiting its activity in a loop. So this is how cytokinin signaling is driven and its effects. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.